Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we're gonna to talk about antidepressants and their association with weight gain. This area is fairly nuanced, and remember that I'm not your doctor, so before you decide to switch or change or stop an antidepressant, it's really important that you speak with your own doctor. Okay, let's get started. There are so many options for antidepressants, and when it's decided that a patient should start an antidepressant, I try to be really mindful of the side effects. One of the bigger side effects that patients really want to avoid is weight gain. Patients all respond to medications differently, so just because I'm saying that a particular medication may cause more weight gain doesn't mean that that's going to happen to you. But if patients are very, very conscious about weight gain and want to avoid that at all costs and don't have a history of anorexia, bulimia, or a lot of anxiety, I usually start with a medication called bupropion, which is also known as Wellbutrin. Interestingly enough, bupropion is also part of a well-known anti-obesity medication called Contrave. The next medications that I consider to be relatively weight neutral, the SSRI fluoxetine, also known as Prozac. The next medication that may have a little bit more weight gain associated with it is a medication called duloxetine, also known as Cymbalta. And this medication is excellent for anxiety and depression, and also for patients that really struggle with a lot of chronic pain, things like fibromyalgia or neuropathy from um, diabetes or alcohol use. And moving on to SSRIs that tend to, to cause even more weight gain are the medications citalopram, also known as Celexa, paroxetine, also known as Paxil. And then there are three other medications that are often used for sleep or as adjuncts to more traditional medications for antidepression. Amitriptyline, trazodone, and mirtazapine, also known as Remeron, the three of them cause quite a bit of sedation. So that's probably why they're maybe associated with more weight gain. I hope that's helpful. Please like and subscribe if you like the content of this video. And thanks for joining me.